Um, let's get into something. I, I'm glad that you put this on here. I, I ask these guys each week. I say, hey, what do you want to talk about? Because they're working on a lot of stuff on BamaInsider.com. I want to make sure that we kind of echo the things that they're working on or, or want to talk about, right? And you said the 2023 football schedule. And I'm glad because I had this conversation earlier talking about how weak Georgia's schedule is. They're, they're, there's no losses on their schedule. Alabama has another really tough year schedule. Right. It is tough uh, when you're playing in the toughest conference in college football and you're also in the toughest division of the toughest mm-hmm. conference. That's why Alabama never needs to apologize for their schedule. I know, you know, one thing about fans, they can be really demanding. And I think what fans ask you to do, Mick, is they're like, I want you guys to play the toughest schedule in college football, but you need to win all the games and none of them need to be close. Right. So that's kind of what, what the fans And, ask, Jimmy, right? if you lose on a couple of last-second plays, walk-off <laughs> losses, yep. we're going to count it the same as when the right. other team loses by 30 at South <laughs> Carolina or the other team gets blown out by its its arch rival at home, you know, <laughs> last no, game right. of the season, right? No, that's, that's exactly right. It's, uh, none of the games can be close, but Alabama plays in the toughest conference in college football and in the toughest division. So you have a hard schedule every year. There's no way to avoid it. You're, you're, you're locked into those games. So the only things you can really avoid, the only things you could control is your non-conference schedule and your East rotational opponent. And this year, the East rotational opponent is a game at Kentucky. And on the surface in the history of the SEC, Mick, that doesn't sound too terrible. Oh, we go to Kentucky. That doesn't sound so bad. Well, Last year's national champions went to Kentucky and only came 16 to 6. So so it is actually a pretty tough rotational opponent when you're playing them on the road. Non-conference-wise, there are two things of note. And no, they're not UT Chattanooga and Middle Tennessee. Those aren't of note. What are are of note is at South Florida, which is kind of strange. That's the uh, oddity in the schedule this season is you're going to a group of five team. Uh, Second uh, difficult hurdle non-conference wise is playing the Texas Longhorns at home. Texas is good. They played Alabama within a point or two last season. They return a lot of guys. They may be preseason top 10 going into this season. It'll be game two. Think about Alabama's quarterback situation, Mick, where you're going to have either the incredibly inexperienced Ty Simpson, or the largely inexperienced Jalen Milrow, and you're playing a Texas team that's in the top 10, and this is in game two. So non-conference-wise, fairly demanding compared to the rest of America, right, where you're bringing in Texas and you're going to a group of five opponent on the road, and then your rotational opponent is at Kentucky, who played last year's national champions within 16 to 6. So it is a tough schedule. It's a tough schedule every year. It's certainly a schedule Alabama doesn't need to apologize for in any way. Right. And uh, if Alabama gets through this schedule at 12 and 0 or 11 and 1, you can you can bet that Alabama will be in the college football playoff picture one more time. Yeah, look, I don't think it's quite as tough as last year's schedule, but it is tough. Correct. You know, just because the five road games uh, that they played this past year were tough, the the five toughest road games. You know, look, I, I don't think playing USF should be that tough of a game uh, right. on the road. You know, uh, I'm glad that the Texas game is at home. Ole Miss is at home. That's going to be good. At Mississippi State, look, they, Bama wins there just about every year. Uh, roll it up, Chris. I want to see the rest of it. Um, yeah. There we go. Uh, tech, at, at Texas A&M will be a tough one. Uh, they lost there right. last time. Arkansas at home. Tennessee at home. I like that. LSU at home, right? Mm-hmm. You should win those. At Kentucky, you're right. It's going to be a tough game, but I think it's winnable. Uh, Chattanooga and then at, at Auburn's the, the toughest game you ever played if you're at Alabama, <laughs> right? So, But it's well, not like last right. year where you're looking at it and I'm going, man, there's five games I think they could lose on here. Well, the – it is, it is true. I, I completely agree that last year's schedule was more uh, difficult because all the best teams you played were all road games. Yeah. And road games mean everything. It, it's t- great stats that were on the Talk of Champions message board 
in the past week. We talked about this a lot last week. Crazy that in the SEC, Mick, uh, Al- uh, the SEC had the second worst road record among all conferences. If you just looked at the road record among all conferences, the SEC was the second worst. And you're like, that's impossible. The SEC is the best at everything. Well, here's the problem, Mick. When you go on the road in the SEC, you're probably going to lose. Yeah, right. <laughs> so the, the league as a whole, and, and I'm butchering this because I, I don't have it in front of me, but the, the league as a whole is something like 37 and 34 on the road, something along those lines. But the point is, when you go on the road, it's crazy tough in this league. Georgia, the national champions, undefeated national champions, they only played Kentucky within 10. They struggled at Missouri. I know. I know. So playing road games in this league is incredibly tough. Last year, Alabama, all four road teams were ranked in the top 10 in the nation at the time the game was played. Yeah, that look, is nuts. It's crazy. Look, if Georgia would have played Alabama's schedule last year, they would have lost two games. I believe I, that. No doubt. I, I agree a million percent while at the same time acknowledging that Georgia is rightfully the college football's national champion. They oh, are yeah. right. well-deserved, but I agree completely. Mick, it's about who you play. Our, uh, Bino Cook, one of my favorite college football characters of all time, uh, would, would forever talk about home field advantage in college football. And that was years ago, yeah. but nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. He always said, you know, you know, uh, I, I think Bino is famous for saying uh, – you know, Germany lost World War II because because they played Russia on the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and that, that's so SEC, yeah. you know, really. So, but the schedule's lighter this year, Mick, because the road schedule isn't quite as tough. But it is still a really difficult schedule. And the point I was making today on the Talk of Champions message board is this. I think, at, you know, under Nick Saban, 11-1, and one, has been the most common result. Believe it or not, it's not 12 and 0. The most common result under a Nick Saban uh, uh, leadership has been 11 and 1. So if you're looking at the schedule, like, okay, if the team is most likely to finish 11 and 1, what is the most likely loss? So that's one thing we talked about today. And in my view, and feel free to disagree because I'm looking for. Rather, I'm looking for people to talk me out of my opinion, but I thought the most likely loss was the game at Texas A&M. And that's why it's on the road. Winning on the road is tough. I think A&M is the toughest road opponent. Some people argue it's Auburn. I agree. As a matter of fact, Alabama has lost two of the last three at Auburn, and, and it was a Bryce Young miracle away from that being three for three. So winning at Auburn has been very tough for Alabama lately. I think that A&M game's a little tougher just on quarterback alone, whereas as of, you know, as we speak, Robbie Ashford's going to be Auburn's quarterback next season. Connor Wigman, A&M's quarterback, I thought was really impressive down the stretch as a true freshman five-star quarterback. I think on quarterback alone, the game at A&M a little tougher than the game at Auburn. But, hey, maybe both of those games are uh, at the very top of games that Alabama Alabama is most likely to lose if you have to pick out a game where you're like, oh, I don't know if Alabama is going to going to get that one. And it's exciting kind of looking at the schedule and knowing that football is not too far away. Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson. Thank you very much for watching this video. Check out our other related content right here on Bama Insider. Be sure and like and subscribe. Inching closer to 100,000 subscribers right here on Bama Insider.